first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel in this lesson number seven on the topic time and work we are going to solve four to five question that is based on the concept called x person and y person in 2016 in the year 2016 2015 and 2014 a question that is based on this x person and y person is very famous in 99 percentage of the exam in aptitude section you will definitely see this question but nowadays in 2017 and 2018 we are not seeing this type of question in the exam competitive exams like bank exam insurance exam but if you are going for any campus interview tcs infosys those exams you will definitely find this question even if you are learning only for competitive exam learn this anyway for if in case in the upcoming exam if they are asking a question then you can easily crack this so remember that how the question will be 16 men and 15 children can complete a piece of work in 20 days they used to give this in a sentence right 16 men and 15 children they will complete a piece of work in 20 days and the next point 14 men and 11 children will complete a piece of work in 26 days and they will ask a question how many days five men and seven children take to do this work right so how we need to solve this question is there are two method one is an equation method second is a small shortcut method where you can solve this question easily but remember that learn both the methods for some question equation method will be easy for some question where shortcut will be easy so learn both the methods practice more number of question in most of the aptitude book you can see more than 10 or 20 question will be there based upon this pattern so you you can after watching this video you can definitely solve more number of question by referring books after solving it then you will get an idea right whether equation method is easy or shortcut is easy so equation method is nothing but just uh, keeping this as equation number one keeping this as equation number two what we used to do is we used to solve both the equation and we will find one man right they have given 16 men and 14 men here right by solving both the equation we used to find one man right how many days he is taking to complete a work similarly one children so after finding one man and one children we will substitute in the given equation and we will find five men and seven children so this is the way of solving a equation by equation method right solving like a simultaneous equation and the second method is a shortcut method so in the shortcut method what I used to do is used to convert the men and children right there are two parameters one is men and the second is children so what I used to do is I used to convert the men in terms of children in equation one similarly in equation number two I used to convert men in terms of children similarly in the given last equation again I used to convert the men in terms of children so in all the given equation I convert the men into children so that the complete equation will be in terms of children right so that we can easily find the answer that is one way of solving so I can in all the four question four to five question that we are going to solve now I will solve in a normal method that is equation method and also in a shortcut method so before solving this question you need to know this small note right if they have given a sentence like this 26 girls can do a piece of work in 91 days what is the meaning of it 26 girls right are doing a piece of work in 91 days and the next step is 26 girls one day work will be 1 by 91 right these are things we have learned in the basics just to uh, remember it right so listen carefully 26 girls can do a piece of work in 91 days so 26 girl one day work will be 1 by 91 one girl one day work will be 1 divided by 91 into 26 just bringing this 26 here friends got it listen carefully 26 girls can do a piece of work in 91 days so 26 girls is equal to 91 days so 26 girl one day work will be 1 by 91 one girl one day work will be 1 divided by 91 into 6 and most important thing don't waste by multiplying this number in your exam do not multiply like this 91 into 26 if you multiply like this you will get a three digit or four digit number after writing three digit or four digit number finding an lcm will be very very difficult so better while solving these types of question if you are getting a number like this 91 26 73 43 like that do not multiply the number keep both the number as it is so got it so uh, i think we can move on to all the questions now question number one two men and three boys can do a piece of work in 10 days while three men and two boys can do a same work in eight days in how many days two men and one boy can do the work 
So listen here. So they have given all the data in a complete sentence, right? First, we need to frame this as an equation. So first point, two men and three boy can complete a piece of work in 10 days. So we can write like this, two men plus three boy can complete a piece of work in how many days? 10 days. So assume this as equation number one. Second equation, three men and two boys can complete a piece of work in eight days. So three men and two boy can complete a piece of work in how many days? Eight days. So keep this as equation number two. So what is our target? Our target to find in how many days two men and one boy can complete a work. So two men plus one boy is equal to how many days? So this is our target. So first we are going to solve this question by an equation method, right? So let me do one thing. Uh, we can find two men, three boy, one day work and three men, two boy, one day work. And after that, we can solve both the equation and we can find one man, one day work. Similarly, one boy, one day work. Then we can substitute in this equation. Just see how I'm going to solve this question. So two men and three boy can complete a piece of work in how many days? 10 days. So one day work will be one by 10. Second equation, three men and two boy can complete a piece of work in eight days. So one day work will be one by eight. So now what we are going to do is, I'm going to multiply this by two and I'm going to multiply this by three so that we can cancel both the equation boys and we can find the men, right, got it. So first equation, I'm going to multiply this by two. So two men becomes four men plus six boy is equals to two divided by 10 will be one divided by five. Next, second equation, I'm going to multiply this by three. So once you multiply this equation by 3, 3 into 3 will be 9m. So 3 into 2 will be 6 boy is equals to 3 divided by 8. So after that, we can subtract both the equations so that we can cancel plus 6 boy minus 6 boy. So we can cancel both the boys. So now we will get the answer in terms of men. So we can say 4m minus 9m will be minus 5n is equals to 1 by 5 minus 3 by 8. So minus 5m is equals to, let me take 8 and 5, LCM as 40. So this becomes 8 5 is a 40, 5 3 is a minus 15. So this will be again a 7 by 40. So minus 5m is equals to minus 7 divided by 40. We can cancel uh, minus and minus. So finally we got 5men is equals to 7 by 40. So 1men is equals to 7 divided by 40 into 5. So finally, after solving both the equation, we got one man is equal to seven divided by 40 into five. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this one man in any one of this equation to find one boy. So I can substitute the value of M, one M in this equation, first equation, right? So two into men that we found seven divided by 40 into five. So plus three boy is equals to one divided by 10. So we can cancel this becomes 20 times. So 5 into 20 will be 100. So 7 divided by 100 plus 3 boy is equal to 1 by 10. So 3 boy is equals to 1 divided by 10 minus 7 divided by 100. So 3 boy is equals to, uh, let me take LCM as 100. So 10 minus 7 will be 3. So 3 divided by 100, we can cancel 3 and 3. So finally, 1 boy is equal to 1 by 100. So listen here. After solving both the equations, so finally we got one man is equal to 7 divided by 40 into 5. One boy is equal to 1 divided by 100. So our target to find two men and one boy, how many days? Just substitute M and B in this equation, you will get an answer, right? So let me do one thing I can, I can solve here. So listen here, two men and one boy. So two into, already we found one man is equal to 7 divided by 40 into 5. So plus one boy and we already found one boy will be one divided by 100 so i think you can cancel again this on 20 times 5 into 20 will be 100 so 7 by 100 plus 1 by 100 will be 8 by 100 so once you reciprocal this becomes 100 divided by 8 you can cancel this on four table this will be 25 and cancel this on four table this will be two so finally we got both the person will complete a piece of work in 25 divided by 2 days. 25 divided by 2 days will be 12 1 by 2. 12 1 by 2 days. 
so after solving this question and equation method where two men and one boy can complete a piece of work in 12 and of days so by seeing this question in an equation method don't decide equation is dif a difficult method right it is not a difficult method uh, for some question the same equation method you will get an answer easily so only if you practice more number of question you can say whether this question can be solved in equation method or a shortcut method right so finally anyway after solving this question and equation method we got 12 and of days so initially what we did we have framed the equation and then we found two men three boy one day work so after writing one day work of both the equation then after what we did we have cancelled both the boys in order to find men so we found one man is equal to 7 divided by 40 into 5 after finding one man we substitute men in any one of this equation to find boy so one boy is equal to 1 by 100 so after finding one man and one boy we have substituted in the given equation so finally we got 12 and of days next is the shortcut method right so here we already know that by learning this question we have wrote all this equation and two men three boy one day work will be one by ten similarly second equation three men two boy one day work will be one by eight and remember that in both the cases where men and boy doing a same work got it right in this case also they are doing a same work similarly in this case also both the persons are doing a same work so what we are going to do is we are going to equate both the equation listen here I'm going to cross multiply this 10 so 2 into 10 will be 20 men plus 3 into 30 will be 30 boy is equals to similarly going to cross this 8 into 3 will be 24 men 8 into 2 will be 16 boy so friends got it right what i have did is i have equated both the equation because in the question they have told that in both the cases they are doing the same work so only i have equated both the equation now let me do one thing 20 men and 24 men will be 4 men is equals to 30 boy and 16 boy i'm just subtracting it right so 30 boy and 16 boy will be 14 boy once you cancel this on two table so two men is equals to seven boy so friends after e equating this equation what we have got is two men is equal to seven boys right now i am just going to convert this equation number one completely in terms of boys right so listen here two men three boy can complete a piece of work in how many days 10 days and we know that two men is equal to seven boy so i'm going to substitute two men is equal to seven boy so seven boy plus three boy is equals to 10 days so totally 10 boys can complete a piece of work in 10 days and so listen here listen most important so initially we found two men is equals to seven boy and we substituted two men is equal to seven boy in this equation number one in order to convert all the values in terms of boys so finally we got 10 boys take 10 days to complete a work and what is our target now our target to find two men and one boy is equal to question mark and we already know that two men is equal to seven boy again substitute in this equation so seven boy plus one boy is equal to question mark so seven plus one is equal to eight boys how many days listen here friends 10 boys can complete a piece of work in 10 days and our target to find eight boys how many days they will take to complete a work it is so easy so 10 boys complete a piece of work in 10 days is equal to eight boys how many days because both are doing the same work so 10 into 10 will be 100 so 100 divided by 8 is equal to x so x is equal to 25 divided by 2 cancel this on four table it will be 25 by 2 so x is equal to 12 and of days the same answer that we got in the previous method so finally by using the shortcut method it's easy right if you know the concept and without solving that equation method you can easily crack this question so finally we got an answer x is equal to 12 and of days so initially what we did we have equated both the equation so after equating we found two men is equal to seven boys so after finding two men is equal to seven boys so substitute this value in the equation number one or equation number two it is your wish right i have substituted in equation number one so in order to convert this men and boy in terms of boys right completely in terms of boys so two men is equal to seven boys so totally 10 boys can complete a piece of work in 10 days similarly in the given equation our target to find two men plus one boy how many days again i have converted two men in terms of boys so two men will be seven boys so seven boys plus one boy will be eight boy so eight boy how many days so finally we found two equation that is 10 boys can complete a piece of work in 10 days eight boy how many days so 10 boys 10 days is equal to eight boys how many days so after solving it we got an answer that is 12 and of days question number two 
six men and eight boys can complete a piece of work in 10 days. So second point, 26 men and 48 boys can complete a piece of work in two days. So our target to find 15 men and 20 boys, how many days it requires to complete a piece of work. So interesting question again, first we need to convert the given question in terms of proper equation, right? So first equation, six men and eight boys. So six men and eight boys can complete a piece of work in how many days, 10 days. So assume this as equation number one. And the second equation, 26 men and 48 boys can complete a piece of work in two days. So equation number two. Next step, our target to find one day work done by six men and eight boys. So six men and eight boys, one day work will be one by 10. Similarly, second equation, 26 men and 48 boys, one day work will be one by two. So our target to find 15 men and 20 boys, right? So 20 boys, how many days? So this is our target. So first we are going to solve both the equations. So if you are going to solve both the equations, let me do one thing. If you multiply this equation by 6, right, you will get 48 because 8, 6 are 48 so that you can easily cancel both the boys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this equation by 6. So first equation into 6 will be 36m plus 8, 6 are 48 boy. When you multiply this by 6, 6 divided by 10. So you can directly write like this, 6 divided by 10. So second equation, 26 men and 48 boy is equals to 1 divided by 2. So subtract both the equations so that in the first equation we are getting plus 48 boy, second equation minus 48 boy, so we can cancel both the boys. So 36 men and 26 men will be 10 men. So 10 men is equals to 6 by 10 minus 1 by 2. So 10 men is equals to, I think we can take an LCM as 10. So once you take LCM as 10, 6 minus 5, that is 1 by 10. So 10 men is equal to 1 by 10. So 1 men is equals to 1 divided by 100. So after solving both the equation, we found 1 man is equal to 1 divided by 100. Next step, we need to substitute this man in any one of this equation to find the boys, right? So let me substitute this equation in equation number 1. So 6m, so 6 into, in terms of m, we are substituting 1 by 100 plus 8 boys is equals to 1 divided by 10. So this will be 6 by 100. So 8b is equals to 1 by 10 minus 6 by 100. Again, take LCM as 100. So this will be 10 times. So 10 minus 6 will be 4. So 4 divided by 100. So you can cancel this on 4 table. 1, 4 is 4, 2, 4 is 8. So finally, I think uh, one, 2b will be 1 by 100. So b will be 1 by 200. So b is equals to, sorry, I think yeah, 1 by 200. Okay. So finally, we got one man is equal to 1 by 100 and one boy is equal to 1 by 200. So now what is our target? Our target to find 15 men and 20 boy, how many days it takes to complete a work. We know that 15, one man will be 1 divided by 100 plus 20 into one boy. So one boy will be 1 divided by 200 is equals to question mark. So we can cancel 20 here 10 times. I think we can keep this as it is, right? So 15 divided by 100 plus 1 divided by 10 is equal to question mark. So take an LCM as 10. So 10, uh, this will be 15, 10 times is equal to question mark. So 15 into 15 plus 10 will be 25. So 25 divided by 100. So here I have taken LCM as 100, right? 25 divided by 100. So question mark is equal to 100 divided by 25 will be 4 days. It's easy, right? When compared to the previous question, we are getting an answer easily here in this equation method. So finally, for this question, 15 men and 20 boys can complete a piece of work in four days. So what are all the things we have did similar to the previous question? So first we have wrote this equation by reading the question. And after that, we found one day work in both the equation. And after that, in order to cancel this boy, so we have multiplied this equation number 1 by 6 so that we can uh, make both the equation the same number of boys and we have cancelled the boys and we finally found one man is equal to 1 by 100. So after finding one man, substitute in any one of this equation, right? I usually substitute in equation number 1. If you substitute the same value in equation number 2, again you will get the answer one boy is equal to 1 by 200, right? So here I have substituted one man is equal to 1 by 100 in equation 1 and finally I found boy is equal to 1 
1 by 200. So after solving both the equation, we got one man and one boy. So after finding both the value, we substituted in this equation so that we found answer is 4 days. Now it's a shortcut method. So in shortcut method, what we usually do is we use to equate both the equation because in both the cases, they are doing the same work. So let me multiply this 10 on both the sides. So 60 men plus 80 boys is equals to similarly multiply 2 here. 26 into 2 will be 52 men, 48 will be 96 boys. So I think 60 men and 52 uh, men, I'm just going to subtract it with this 8 men is equals to 80 boy, 96 boy will be 16 boys. So 8 men is equals to 16 boys. So 8 and 2, 2 times. So 1 man is equal to 2 boys. So finally, after equating both the equation, we got one man is equal to two boys, right? So now I'm just taking this equation number one. I'm going to convert the men in terms of boys. So six men and eight boys equal to 10. We know that one man is equal to two boys. So six men is equal to 12 boys. So 12 boys plus eight boy is equal to 10 days. So totally 20 boys can able to do a piece of work in 10 days. So God, I have converted this equation number one completely in terms of boys. We know that one man is equal to two boys. So six man is equal to 12 boys. So 12 boys plus eight boys equal to 20 boy can complete a piece of work in 10 days. So now our target to find 15 men and 20 boys is equal to question mark. We know that one man is equal to two boys. Now 15 men is equal to 30 boys and just multiply by two. So 30 boys plus 20 boy is equal to question mark so totally 50 boys is equal to question mark so we know that 20 boys can complete a piece of work in 10 days so our target to find 50 boys how many days just cross multiply it right 20 boy can complete a piece of work in 10 days doing the same work so 50 boys how many days so we can cancel 20 into 10 will be 200 200 divided by 50 will be 4 so question mark is equal to 4 days Hey, this looks like so easy in this method even some toughest question can be easily solved right so finally for question number two we got an answer that is 15 men and 20 boy uh, can do a piece of work in four days some students will ask why you are converting men in terms of boys can i convert boy in term of men yeah you can do right either you can convert men in terms of boys or otherwise boys in terms of men definitely you will get the same answer question number three 8 men or 12 boys can complete a piece of work in 16 days. The number of days required to complete a piece of work by 20 men and 6 boys. There is a small difference between a previous question and this question. right? In the previous question, now the question is 6 men and 8 boys can complete a piece of work in 16 days. But here 8 men or or. So the word or is most important. In all the previous question it's and. But in this question it is or. So what is the meaning of or which means eight men can do a piece of work in 16 days or otherwise the same work 12 boys can do a piece of work in 16 days. So this is the difference between this question and previous question. So friends got it. So in the previous question how we wrote the equation eight men plus 12 boy. But in this question they have given eight men or 12 boy. The meaning is eight men can complete a piece of work in 16 days or otherwise 12 boys can complete a piece of work in 16 days. So what is the first step? Same concept right. So eight men can complete a piece of work in 16 days. So eight men one day work will be one by 16. One man one day work will be 16 into eight. Do not multiply this number. So keep the value as it is right. So similarly 12 boy one day work will be 1 by 16 so one boy one day work will be 1 by 16 into 12 so these are things i have taught you on the basics itself right starting of the video so now our target to find 20 men plus 6 boy is equal to question mark we already found one man will be 1 by 16 into 8 so directly substitute here 1 by 16 into 8 plus 6 boy so boy will be 1 divided by 16 into 12 as equals to question mark so now i think we can cancel this on four table so once you cancel this on four table five times so cancel this on four table four times so next is we can cancel directly on six times six twos are 12 so finally eight fours are 32 so five divided by 32 plus one divided by 16 into 32 is equal to question mark so six divided by 32 so question mark is equal to six divided by 32 so when you reciprocal this 32 divided by six 
so this will be 5 times so 6 5s are 30 remaining will be 2 so 5.333 it goes on so we can say that question mark is equal to 5 1 by 3 because 1 by 3 will be 0 0.33 something so we can say that 5 1 by 3 days so finally by using a normal method it's not an equation method because the question is completely different when compared to previous question in previous question they used to give two equation so that we have solved that equation and we found the answer but here they have given the value separately right eight men can complete a piece of work in 16 days similarly 12 boys can complete a piece of work in 16 days both the data are different so by using this we found one man and one boy then we substitute the value in the equation and we got the answer that is 5 1 by 3 days it's a shortcut method right for applying a shortcut for these questions is very simple because they have directly given 12 boys is equal to 16 days and 8 men is equal to 16 days so our target to find 20 men and 6 boy either you can easily convert boy in terms of men or otherwise men in terms of boy both the values are easy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert men in terms of boy so 8 men is equal to 12 boy we already know that both the person are doing the same job so 8 men is equal to 12 boy cancel this on 4 table 2 men is equal to 3 boys so now our target to find 20 men listen here 2 men equal to 3 boy and our target to find what is 20 men so 20 men will be 30 boys so we can say that 30 boys plus 6 boys is equal to question mark so 36 boys is equal to question mark so we know that 12 boys can able to do a piece of work in 16 days so 12 boys 16 our target to find 36 boy is equal to x that's it so simple so now you can cancel this on uh, 12 table sorry 12 into 3 will be 36 so question mark is equal to 16 divided by 3 16 divided by 3 once you cancel this 5 3 is a 15 a reminder will be 1 again 0 0.333 so we can say that question mark is equal to 5 1 by 3 days so in both the method we got an answer that is 5 1 by 3 days last fourth question 10 men or 20 women or 40 children do a piece of work in seven months then five men five women and five children together can complete a piece of work in dash month so interesting question more students will have a doubt right in case if the question has three parameters x person y person and z person how i need to solve so that is the reason i have taken this question so listen the question carefully 10 men or so again there is a word or so which means 10 men can complete a piece of work separately in seven months or otherwise 20 women completes a piece of work in seven months and the last data 40 children can complete a piece of work in seven months if they have given 10 men and 20 women and 40 children then you need to add all the values but here they have given a word or so we can easily say 10 men is equal to 7 so 10 men one day work will be 1 by 7 one man one day work will be 1 by 7 into 10 if it is an easy number you can directly write this as 70 right so second 20 women is equal to 7 so 20 women is equal to one day work will be 1 by 7 so one woman one day work will be 7 into 2 will be 140 and the last 40 children is equal to 7 so one children is equal to 1 divided by 7 into 40 so we can say that one children is equal to 1 divided by 280 so 280 so finally we got one man one woman and one children now what is our target our target to find five men and five women and five children how many days it takes to complete a work so five into one man will be one by 70 so one divided by 70 so five women so one woman will be one divided by 40 and the last five children so one children will be 280 is equals to question mark so now let me take LCM as 240 or 280 right once you take LCM 280 this will be 4 times so 5 into 4 will be 20 and this will be 2 times so 5 into 2 will be 10 so this will be 1 times so 5 is equal to question mark so 20 plus 1 will be 30 so 30 plus 5 will be 35 so 35 divided by 280 is equal to 280 divided by 35 so i think 8 5 is a 44 24 28 i think 8 times so question mark is equal to 8 months
finally we got an answer as 8 months in case if they have given 4 parameters right, another uh, girls or 40 girls or 50 girls everything is the same way right so finally we got an answer by using a normal method that is 8 months now let me move on to the shortcut method so here we have 3 parameters right in all the previous cases we have only 2 parameters but here we have 3 parameters by seeing this you don't want to confuse anything just similarly equate all the given parameters right because all the 3 persons are doing the same work so we can say that 10 men is equals to 20 women is equal to 40 children right you can equate all the three so now i think we can cancel 0 0 0 here so one man is equal to two women is equal to four children you can say like this one man is equal to two women and one man is equal to four children similarly two women is equal to four children that's it right so now what is our target our target to find five men five women and five children is equal to question mark so let me do one thing i'm going to convert men and women in terms of children right so five men is equal to how much children isn't here one man is equal to four children so five men is equal to 20 children so plus two women is equal to four children so five women is equal to 10 children so 10 children so plus five children is equal to question mark so 20 30 35 children is equal to question mark so now we know that 40 children takes 7 months to complete a work. So 35 children, how many days? All the same, right? So we can cancel this 5 times, 7 5 is 35. So 1, 8 times. So x is equal to 8 months. So finally, in both the method, we got an answer. That is value of x, number of months will be 8 months. So finally, in this video, a small video, but you have learned a lot. So in this video, we have solved four different questions that is based on X person and Y person. So it is one of the very most important concept in the topic time and work. So after watching this video, before sharing this video to your friends, first take your books, right? Practice more and more number of questions. Only if you practice more number of questions, you will get an idea, right? Whether we can solve a question and equation or otherwise a shortcut method. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you really like this, share this video to your friends, those who are preparing for any competitive exams or a campus interview exam. So thank you so much. Bye.